And let me get into the numbers. Uh, the technology segment still looks interesting. You saw 11% pop there all along during the pandemic. Uh, the demand for consumer electronics has been a supportive factor. What's the tailwind, though, as we uh, continue to see lockdown restrictions easing? Do you think that sector will face some challenges from here? No, Karen, and good morning. Uh, I think the technology uh, business has performed exceptionally well through the last year, and that was, uh, I suppose, two factors uh, within the business. One, uh, the demand and very significant demand for working from home technologies as millions of people uh, shifted uh, from their offices to working from home environment, and you know the business benefited from that. And we also very much benefited from the demand for consumer electronics uh, products during the period when people, I suppose, couldn't go off on holidays, couldn't go to concerts, couldn't go to matches, uh, and uh, spent their money on upgrading their consumer electronics. Uh, but that was uh, there was an impact on the B2B uh, segment of our market. So a lot of our businesses in the B2B sector, clearly uh, offices working, investing in their AV systems, retail outlets, uh, various, uh, you know, areas where people would gather, so uh, conference centers uh, and so on. And, and, you know, the demand for the B2B products is, is definitely, and we're starting to see that now at the moment, starting to bounce back as well. So, you know, having had a strong year uh, in the year just gone, you know, we believe we're going to have a strong year in, 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 in the current year as well. So uh, we feel really good about our technology business. We've expanded it out. Uh, significantly into uh, into North America uh, and the businesses over there have been performing very well and technology uh, benefits uh, as the economy recovers and uh, you know we'd expect to see that kicking in in the uh, in the next financial year. Stone offering uh, investors a final dividend up 12.6 percent, uh, return on capital employed of 17.1 percent. That's, that's big enough a, a rebuff those to those who say why on earth have you got LPG retail and oil, healthcare and technology in the same company? I guess. Yeah, look, the, the, you know, the DCC business model uh, has always been built on the back of diversity. Diversity really works for us. If you look over our 27 years as a public company, we've grown our earnings 14.2% uh, year on year, and we have had an unbroken dividend growth uh, record of 13.9% year on year. So, you know, the DCC model really works. Cash generation is good. And as you say, Steve, the return on capital employed increased uh, during a pandemic year to 17.1%. So, uh, you know, we really feel good about the uh, about the business model. And, you know, the great thing about, uh, about DCC uh, is that we, you know, continue to expand our business just in the last three years. We've gone from having no business in North America to today where we have 20% of our capital employed in North America. You know, we have 2,300 people working for DCC in North America, three of our four divisions and small shares in each of those divisions. So, you know, lots of opportunity for further capital deployment.